Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I just ran across this uh, post on Twitter, reading through the comments. As you see the headlines, Alex Jones has his day in Congress. House Republicans hold conspiracy theory hearing. They're talking about the 1.6 million bullets that uh, DHS bought, and they're saying that it's because of Alex Jones that, the, you know, we had to discuss this and have the government give us an account and their explanation is bullshit um, because they're saying it's buying in bulk, saving money, training exercises. The, the amount of bullets they bought would last them fucking 20 years. Um, so there's no real anything here to distract you from the bullets or, or anything like that. In my mind, this is just another plug for fucking Alex Jones who in my opinion is controlled opposition, okay? Um, there's many, many things I could say that, uh, you know, kind of point to that and why I believe that. But what I've seen, now a lot of people will say, Alex woke me up, and that's great. Uh, if you get woke up, that's great. But what happens with the majority of people that stay uh, in Alex Jones's little corner is he uses the psychology he uses the anger. He uses the poor me. He acts like a little fucking spoiled baby. Okay, and the information he's giving you is readily available basically the same time through many other sources. Alex Jones is no fucking hero. He, he doesn't have any inside. Drudge Report? Drudge is his inside connection? Come on. Come on. Now, this is all Alex Jones bullshit, and if I actually had the time to find out Media Matters, who they are, and trace it back to Alex Jones, but you know what? I don't have fucking time for people like Alex Jones. But anyway, this was an opportunity to uh, kind of disseminate the bullshit, and, you know, every now and then when I, when I see the prime opportunity to give a little poke at Alex Jones, uh, who convinced you that you had to buy shit to protect yourself from Fukushima fallout and then never even took it himself. Uh, and just think about his fundraisers. What, the last one I saw here about a year ago, over $300,000 donated. Okay? All right. Yeah, you get the picture. Anyway, don't stay in his trap. If he's woke you up, that's great. Glad somebody did it. Move on. Don't stay there because the psychology will set in and you will just feed off everything that Alex Jones feeds you. That's why he talks to you the way he does. To keep you submissive, keep you anticipating, keep you on the edge of your seat, and he'll even twist you around, take his shirt off, sit down with a little pudge face, and make you feel like you just scolded your son or something. So, anyway, I'll put your link below if you want to read this. Uh, and you can see that uh, that was my... As soon as I saw the headline, I knew it. And then when I read in, and, and see, this is what it's done. It's got everybody arguing about the bullets and what they're used for and all this other shit. And nobody even sees. Alex Jones doesn't deserve the fucking headline. Okay? Alex Jones does not control our political system. Or does he? You better think about that. Much love. Many thanks. And I'll see you soon.